All right, so I'm on my way to take the X-T2 back to Fuji. This will be my fourth time fixing this camera, and I wanna see what they're gonna do. I wonder if they're gonna replace the camera. I wonder if they're gonna try and fix it. I'm gonna try and ask for a loaner. Probably won't get one, but I'm gonna have to use my Canon 6D and rent a 5D Mark IV or something. So let's see what happens. All right, so I took the X-T2 into Fuji customer support. Uh, I wrote down all the information, told her my problems. I told her about the hot pixels. Um, I'm gonna have to send them a video showing all the hot pixels. And then I told her about the Wi-Fi thing freezing up and I actually showed her on the spot because I can replicate it every single time. And I told her, I don't wanna have to pay for this. It's out of Fuji warranty now, but it literally was just fixed a month ago and it was fine until they fixed it. Anyway, they won't give me a loaner. I asked for a loaner. I was like, please, can I get a loaner? And she said, no. But anyway, I don't know what's gonna happen. Hopefully it takes only a few days, not 10 days, but I'm making these videos for you guys because I have Fuji customer support right beside me and it's easy to go to and you're seeing my experience with Fuji and hopefully it helps you guys out. I don't know if it does or not, but anyway, I'm making these videos anyway, just because I need to keep track of this stuff and you guys need to see what's going on. So yeah, I'll come back to you in a few days when it's fixed. All right, so Fuji called me. I didn't answer the phone because I didn't know who it was. So I'm gonna call them back and see what they're saying. Thank you so much for calling me back. So, listen, um, I saw a couple attachments that you sent us, you know, video wise. Yeah. And but I wanted just to note, they just said to me that to to pretty much ask you what's the what's the main uses that you usually use this unit. If you use it mostly on video, what type of video you're doing most of the time, 4K. Like I just wanted just to get more information. How did you how did you use your unit? Um, I mostly just use it for photography. I'm just gonna I'm documenting this as we speak, okay? So for photography. I have other cameras for video, so uh -huh. it, it doesn't okay. really get so pushed. So video is not the main thing. Okay? Not really, no. Have you done any any sensor mapping before on the unit? Yeah, I've tried it a couple to, times. So it's okay. Do you have the history of that camera? Like, you, you know that it was in to get the sensor repaired like a month ago? Yeah, I just, um, this camera has come here a couple times. Yeah. But I'm just, uh, I'm just wanna, just to ask you this, this so to, to add this to the repair number, I just wanted just to get more information about that. Uh, both of the videos that you provided us are on file as well. I wanna speed up the, the process on this, on this unit, so. Yeah. So anything comes up, I'll, I'll give you a call. Is that better if I email you? Do you feel better if I? Uh, yeah, you can email me if you want. Easier to get a hold. It'll be easier to get a hold of you better. Yeah, it just depends on what I'm up to. Like if I'm on a shoot or something like that, I can't always oh. answer my phone. So. Okay, excellent. Thank right. you so much. Thanks a lot. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Never had that happen before, but there you go. They just asked me a bunch of questions and they followed up. So. We'll see what goes on from here. I sent my camera in two days ago. Today's Friday, and I need the camera for next Friday. So that gives them basically six business days or five business days, I don't know. Hopefully I can get it in time by then, but I'll keep you posted. All right, so Fuji just called me. They said that the camera's ready to go. It's Tuesday now, and I sent the camera in last Wednesday, so a little under a week. And I asked them if they were gonna charge me, and she said no. So hopefully they didn't just remap the sensor and they actually did something serious. I don't want to set my expectations too high because they really haven't been that great in the last couple of times. So we'll head out now and see what we got. Okay, we got the camera back looks good they didn't miss any screws or sink ports like they did last time i made sure to check it before i left this time this so it says i replaced the main board and sensor adjusted and checked and tested warranty work done there was no warranty but they did it out of courtesy pro digital service main pwb assembly all i know is they replaced a lot of stuff and it says warranty repair no charge as you can see, they replaced the main board and the sensor. They didn't charge me, which is a good thing. Thank you, Fuji. I was worried you were gonna charge me for all that because that would not be a cheap repair. It wasn't because of anything I did. It was literally just like that when I got it back from the last time it got repaired. So I'm gonna go home now. I'm gonna do some tests to make sure there's no hot pixels. We'll test to see if the Wi-Fi works because there's no battery in the camera right now, so I can't test it on spot. But uh, once I get home, we'll do those tests. And uh, yeah, thanks for following me along. Let's do it.
All right, so I have an awesome idea how I can test for hot pixels and if the Wi-Fi is working. What I'll do is I'll do a self-portrait here using the iPad. So first we're gonna set up the Wi-Fi settings here. Okay, so now I'm connected. All right, so I'm gonna start this off at ISO 640, which is probably a little high for something like this where I'm in the studio with the light. Should probably put these on so that I look sort of cool for the shot. Okay, so I got some of these files popped up on the computer here. We have, these ones are at 640 ISO, and then I did some at 1200 ISO, just because the higher you go in the ISO, obviously there'll be a little bit more hot pixels. So let's open up like two files, we don't have to look at all of them. This should be 640 ISO, yeah, so 640 ISO. And if we zoom in here, generally I've seen hot pixels, at least one or two usually. Looks pretty clean. Let's look at one that was at 1200 ISO, 1250 ISO. That's not too bad, it's pretty clean. We'll just try one more here. Zoom in and make sure there's no hot pixels. This I think is just like fuzz on my jacket. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I assume they fixed it because before there was like 30 or 40 hot pixels and it seems good now. All right, so as you can tell, the tests look A-OK. -okay. There seems to be no more problems. They replaced the sensor, they replaced the motherboard, and they did it for free. So I gotta give them props for that. I thought I was gonna have to pay for that because it's out of warranty. Obviously, it was probably the motherboard all along and it should have just been replaced or a whole new camera. I still find it weird that I don't have a new camera out of it after all these problems, but hopefully this thing's not plagued now and <laughs> I won't have any more problems, but we're in this together, so I'll keep you updated on further notice of what happens with this camera. Hopefully nothing else. Let me know how you feel about this 4K quality coming off the iPhone 10 that I'm vlogging with and the audio. It should should be all right. I think it looks okay. I'm using the rear facing camera right now. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give it a thumbs down twice. See you in the next one.